You see before you a surface. This surface could be a countertop, tile floor, or keyboard. As an example, let's say this surface is 1 meter by 1 meter. To the naked eye, it looks perfectly clean. However, knowing that the human eye can't distinguish elements more than 0.02 millimeters wide, let's scale in a little bit and see how clean the surface really is. Zooming in now to the tenth, the hundredth, the thousandth, the ten thousandth, ah, assisted, we can see a colony of bacteria called Clostridium difficile, C. diff for short. C. diff is commonly contracted through the mouth from medical equipment, pans, curtains, and ultimately, hands. In the human intestines, C. diff creates toxins that create serious inflammation, diarrhea, and cell death. C. diff is then spread again through feces contamination. To get an idea of the severity of C. diff, let's compare it to some other hospital-acquired infections. Each patient who enters the hospital pays an extra $104 due to C. diff, and insurance no longer covers these costs. Clostridium difficile infects 13 of every 1,000 patients. It also kills 25 of every 1,000 infected. Here are a few more famous hospital-acquired infections to compare it to, according to the Healthcare Cost and Utilization Project. To find C. diff, we could use our microscope to inspect our 1 meter by 1 meter surface. However, if we spent just one second to inspect each segment, the search would take over 300 years. So even with the assistance of a microscope, we clearly need another method to ensure a surface is safe. The most certain method to detect C. diff is to swab the surface and put the C. diff into a culture where they can grow freely. There, they can multiply from 1 to 2 to 4 to 16 to 32 and so on. Within three days, the naked eye can see the forming colonies. If the colony is forming, you know C. diff was on the original surface. This test is called the toxigenic culture. Now, a toxigenic culture requires three days for a result, costs $22 per test, and detects the presence of the entire cell. This test is accurate to 100% sensitivity and a 93% specificity. Keep in mind, sensitivity is the likelihood of a sick patient correctly identified as sick, and specificity is the likelihood of a healthy patient correctly identified as healthy. Now, let's compare this test to the many others available. Enzyme immunoassay detects C. diff poison chemically. Cytotoxicity assays detect the poison by cell damage. GDH assays detect the C. diff specific chemical. And these three methods of PCR extract, multiply, and detect C. diff DNA. Notice here that the expensive tests, perhaps to no surprise, work faster, while the cheaper tests take longer. At a hospital, every extra patient day costs the hospital $1,500. Well, let's take those figures into account and adjust this graph. Because the cost-time relationship is proportional here, it would seem that testing time is actually the primary cost factor when sampling for C. diff. Presented here is merely the quantifiable data per patient. Keep in mind that for each undiagnosed, unquarantined, and untreated patient, there is a multiplied probability to spread this bacteria. All this indicates a need for an effective, fast, standardized test for surface and patient contamination that is not based upon how a surface looks, but rather one that can actually detect danger.